we're going to talk about symmetry now and um, we're going to talk about it specifically with respect to graphing points and then we'll graduate from that into curves and lines and, and equations and different things like that. Okay, so first of all, um, let's think about what symmetry means. Generally when we talk about symmetry, just in you know the everyday language, we think about balance. So whenever we talk about um, like symmetry in paintings and things like that, then you know there's a balance in the painting or um, you think about you know architecture, um, arches. Uh, there's a balance. It's like you could draw a line down through the middle and there would be you know, an, an evenness or a balance about it. Well the same idea applies to mathematics. So let's go over these um, definitions and then we'll at the same time do this example so that you can see how the symmetry is working. Okay first of all our very first um, example here says a graph is said to be symmetric with respect to the x-axis if for every point xy on the graph the point x negative y is also on the graph so let's see what that looks like here we have this original point of 5 3 so if I plot that 5 3 would be right there there's my original point 5 3 okay it's the definition said if we've got a point and some x y then the point x negative y is also on the graph so that means the same exact x value but the opposite sign for the y value so if I were to use this point and use the same exact x value but the opposite sign for the y then that would be the point 5 negative 3 which would be right down here now can we look at that and see that that is balanced about the x-axis where um, an even amount of, of space um, on either side of the x-axis there that is symmetry with respect to the x-axis so this is x-axis symmetry this point is okay now let's look at the second definition here. A graph is said to be symmetric with respect to the y-axis if for every point xy on the graph the point negative xy is also on the graph. Okay, so let's go back to our original point here, the 5, 3. According to the definition, for any point that you've got on there x and y, then the opposite x and the same y value are also on the graph. So if I took the opposite x, that would make that negative 5, and the same y would be 3. So negative 5, positive 3, I would plot that right here. So let me draw that in, negative 5, 3. Now can we look at this and see that there is balance about the y-axis? That's what y-axis symmetry means. Then our final definition says a graph is said to be symmetric with respect to the origin if for every point x, y on the graph the point negative x, negative y is also on the graph. So for this one we're changing the sign of both the x and the y. So let's go back to our original point here, the 5, 3. If I change the sign of both of those points, make that a negative 5 and a negative 3 and I plot that negative 5, negative 3 would be right there. So negative 5, negative 3. Now can we see that there is balance on either side of the origin here? That is what origin symmetry means.